Hello Leo, I'm going to be doing your bonus love reading. You were the highest views of the fire signs by a very slim margin, um, but you won. So I'm going to do a quick reading for you. This is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So just keep that in mind. I'll start getting the energies for your reading with my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a deck that I offer in my shop that you can print from home. It's very affordable. I'm thinking about making it a physical deck, but for now, it's just a digital one. All right, spirits, just guys. What messages do you have for Leo in love? Messages for Leo in love. Oh, we got new beginnings. Beginnings, letting go, new day. You're ready for a fresh start. What else for Leo? A fresh start in love. We got burdened heart, difficulty, overwhelmed, tired, burdens weigh heavy on the heart. Can I get one more? So I feel like you're just ready. You're just ready for something new. You are kind of over feeling uh, overwhelmed or having difficulty in love. Uh, I just heard love shouldn't be so hard. Okay, I've got way too many. What else for Leo? This could also be that someone is burdened by what they're not saying or by their feelings for you. We'll see. Oh, one more please for Leo. Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling stuck or trapped in a situation. You know, I just pictured the Eight of Swords, which is, you know, someone that is wrapped up in fear, tied up in fear. So let's see what's going on here for Leo. For Leo Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo regarding love? Again, this is a general reading and will not resonate with everyone. So if it's not your reading, don't try to make it fit. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Tell me what messages you have for Leo. Five of Cups reverse, three of coin reverse, and the Fool. Well, there's that New Beginnings card. The Fool, this is all about taking a risk, a leap of faith. Something new here in love, Leo. Three of Coin reverse, this could be Something that's just not working out or there could be too many cooks in the kitchen here five of cups reverse this is someone that wants to overcome or um regain what's been lost or what has happened in the past someone wants to just be over the past let me clarify why is the five of cups reverse Why is the Five of Cups reverse? Queen of Coin. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Emperor, wow. Aries energy with Emperor. The Emperor is someone that takes charge in love someone wise typically older masculine energy they like to regain uh stability they like to keep things organized in order ten of wands there's that burdened heart so i feel like something that happened in the past possibly with an aries or an earth sign does not have to be but i'm mentioning it because i'm seeing it i feel like what happened in the past has been a burden someone's carrying a burden here have the star reverse, Aquarius energy, and the king of wands reverse. It's like someone's losing faith in something, or perhaps um, there's a lot of uh, healing that needs to still take place here. I feel like someone has been carrying something like deep down in their heart, or just been carrying this with them. And it's like they're ready to just let this go. Can I get one more for this 10 of wands? Four of Cups and Page of Coin. 
This could be that someone needs to talk about something here with a page of coin, make some sort of an offer. Queen of Pentacles is some uh, very generous person. Page of coin. This is some someone giving you something, Leo, or vice versa. With the Four of Cups, it's almost like someone is just not interested um, in where they're at in life. There's something missing for them. I get one more for this Ten of Wands. This is someone asking you out, giving you something small, but that has the potential for more. Yeah, we got the wheel. Huge um, changes here with the wheel. And then with the high priestess, I don't think you're going to see this coming or expect this change. It's like an unexpected gift or an unexpected offer here. Possibly from an emperor type energy. The moon just fell out. What's this? Nine of Swords Reverse, someone getting, overcoming their fear. Again, I felt like I, the Eight of Swords with the tied up, someone is like wrapped in their fear or what they're, you know, maybe they're overthinking, letting their mind take over here. Tell me about this Three of Coin Reverse for Leo. What is this Three of Coin Reverse? Six of Wands kind of fell in limbo there. Two of Wands. Tell me about this Three of Coin Reverse. Next Three of Coin Reverse here. Three of Swords. Wow. Okay. I'm really hoping there's not some sort of interference, but I feel like with the Five of Coins at the bottom and the Three of Swords, it's almost like someone's not doing well here. Someone's uh, feeling lost, abandoned, missing you. Uh, there's pain, disappointment, maybe even difficult um, conversations that took place that kind of caused a disconnect here. There was some sort of a loss or something here with the Six of Wands in Limbo. It's like something was not successful. Maybe someone here um, chose someone else, chose another path. Or there's two people here. Can I get one more for this Three of Coin Reverse? And I feel like someone possibly could be wanting a new beginning here. Seven of Wands still want to come out. And the Moon Reverse. Yeah, something's coming to the light here. Someone's going to fight for this, stand up for what they want, or just they don't care about the opposition anymore. The Moon Reverse, this is, and with the High Priest, is like, I don't think you're, I honestly feel like this is going to be a surprise. What's at the bottom of the deck? King of Wands Reverse, Queen of Wands Upright. Someone screwed up with this King of Wands Reverse. There's an attraction here with the Queen of Wands. It's almost like there's a pair here, some sort of partnership that was very, um, there's Aries Leo Sagittarius here with the Queen of Wands, King of Wands. There's like an attraction, chemistry, you know, passion, interest, you know, this magnetic tie, right? But I feel like with this King of Wands Reverse, he didn't, he didn't play his cards right. And I feel like the, you know, the, this King of Wands wants to come back and fight for what they feel is theirs. And I feel like this is going to be like something that's kind of a revelation or a shock. Why is the Fool here? Perhaps for some of you, Leo, you left this person behind, started a new beginning on your own. And this other person's not dealing well with the fact that you've moved on. Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is like the fighting is over. No more drama, reconciliation possibly, setting the egos aside. Why is the Fool here? Six of Swords reverse, some sort of return. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying this person wants a second chance. Let's not fight anymore. Let me recover what I've lost. Let me choose a new path this time. Let me uh, go back to, you know, the good times. Three of Cups reverse. Some of you are definitely in a third party. Knight of Wands reverse. This person probably, yeah, they didn't put enough effort. They weren't able to commit to you. They were probably playing around, causing trust issues, putting a, a burden on this connection. There's the Eight of Swords. 
Look at this. This person is just like tired, exhausted by whatever this Knight of Wands reverse is doing. I feel like this is pretty clear. I feel like, Leo, you had enough. You had enough of, with the third party. You had enough with like this person not putting in equal amounts of effort, not working on this connection. Whatever interference was here with this Three of Cups, Three of Coins reverse, Three of Swords. Whatever interference there was, I feel like you either gave this person an ultimatum or you left them in the dust or you are ready to set down this burden and this other person's like, wait up, wait up. <laughs> but I love you is what I just heard. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What is the potential outcome here for Leo? Spirit, angels, what's the potential outcome here? potential outcome here for this connection let's see what's the potential outcome here we hear that noise in the background it just started raining potential outcome here please for Leo and this other person potential outcome tower reverse did want to come out yeah, it's like this person doesn't want this tower to fall. They're going to do whatever it takes to keep this tower from completely falling down on them. The sun reversed something hidden. It could be that this person has not expressed this to you, has kept this hidden, or this is like a secret desire of theirs, something like that, because we had the high priestess and the moon reversed. So something here is like a secret. Queen of Wands reversed with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this might be you. Like, you're over this person. Maybe you won't be as open to their offer. Maybe you're expecting a lot more. Tell me about this Tower Reverse. Got the Page of Pentacles twice. So this is someone that's going to approach you with what seems like a serious offer. Yeah, this person does not want their wish to be um, denied. Seven of Swords, they're going to do whatever it takes. They're going to do whatever it takes here with the Seven of Swords. I really hope that they, yeah, Ten of Wands, Three of Cups reverse. Again, I feel like there's a burden in between you, a third party, and this person... I feel like they don't want things to end with you, but they might not be so ready to let go of this third party. So be very careful, Leo. I think that's why you're kind of over this. Tell me about the sun reverse. Four of wands reverse. This is like a disconnect in the home, broken commitment, instability, lack of harmony. There might be even arguments here. Yeah, there's no success here. I feel like you've already made your decision and are ready to drop this burden like you're tired you're exhausted tell me about this queen of wands reverse so i feel like this person um maybe they see the writing on the wall here yeah this king of wands is coming after you they're 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 they don't care it's like they they'll do whatever it takes at this point the lovers and but they're still attached you know, this is like what they want to tell you. Like, hey, be with me. I want to choose you, but they're not free. There's a lot of attraction here. And again, with like the fear, the burden, and the three, three of cups reversed again. So be very careful because I feel like this person's going to message you out of nowhere and beg you to come back to them or to have a new beginning it's going to be different this time all of that good stuff but i have a feeling that this other interference has not been completely dealt with so just keep that in mind leo all right thank you so much for watching if this resonated for you in any way let me know down in the comments how it resonated for you and i'll see you all in another video take care